Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source and welcome to uh, another one of our little uh, training videos. What I want to talk about today is a tool in Wilcom called Connection Manager. I get a lot of questions from our customers asking me what it is, what it's used for. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, what it allows you to do, uh, Connection Manager allows you to set up a folder either on your computer, on a server, on a USB memory stick, on a um, compact flash card or even on an external floppy disk drive. And once you've set up the folder and, and set up the file type that uh, you want designs to be saved in, you can then do that just by one clicking of a button. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And the tool I'm talking about is right here, the Connection Manager tool. Looks like a little electrical uh, cable with a plug on the end and, a, and an arrow pointing upwards. So I'm going to click on that tool. It says there are no existing connections. Do you want to, to, brew, to uh, make one? I'm going to say yes. And now uh, it's set for machine folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this connection a name. So I'm going to set up a connection for a Baradon machine. So I simply type in Baradon. So that when I move the mouse over the, the tool on the toolbar, it will actually tell me this connection is for a Baradon machine. I can now choose a little icon to represent this connection. So I'll choose one that's similar in color to a Baradon, which is pale blue. I now choose the file type, and I'm going to look for Baradon U format, which is this one here. It actually displays it as Baradon, and then in brackets, asterisk dot u question mark question mark so if you were saving a design um, any other way of course what this means is the asterisk is the name of the design and it means that it then ends with a dot uh, a u and then any number up to uh, 99 okay so we choose barrett and u code and we now choose the folder now i've already created a folder on my on the hard drive of my computer so I'm going to navigate to that now. Uh, there's my computer, there's C drive, and here is the folder I created for Barrett and Designs. Now that could be Tajima or Happy or Melco or SWF, but in this case Baradon. So I choose the folder and click OK. Now you'll notice there's a little tick box here, uh, rotate design by 180 degrees. You could, for example, set up a folder that you want to use just for capped designs. And you would say, OK, Every design I save into this folder is for embroidery on caps, and therefore I want the design to be rotated by 180 degrees. So you tick that box, and then all you do is open the design, click on the machine connection manager that's for your cap folder, and everything's done for you. Okay? In this case, I don't need to do that because uh, all Barrett and machines have a cap embroidery function, and that automatically rotates the design by 180 degrees anyway. So I'll click OK. And it's asked me, okay, do you want to send that design to your new Baradon folder? And I click send, and away it goes. Now, I've already sent that design today, so it's, it's now asking me, do I want to replace the design that's already in there? I'm going to say yes. Normally that wouldn't happen. And it's done. And you'll notice now that I have a new icon on the screen, and it, it's blue, and if I move the cursor over it, it says send to Baradon. Okay? So if you want to check the settings, you can click on you can click on the folder, right click on the folder, uh, and it brings up the settings box. So machine folder, the name is Baradon, this is the format, and here is where the folder is stored. So you can edit connections that you already made, you can delete them, and of course you can create new connections. And you can have multiple connections. If you have if you use different makes of embroidery machine in your factory, then you can have one connection for each one. Okay, we're done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video and uh, I look forward to uh, helping you out with, uh, with more videos in the future. Thanks for your time.